I was bored, really bored, and I was told I needed to find myself a hobby. Um, so what better way of passing the time than to randomly talk into the camera towards you about nothing, because I'm bored, so therefore I have no topic whatsoever to talk to you about. Okay, right, so then I suppose we should talk about boredom. Um, because as you know, um, as you're coming to them, holidays are really exciting. I mean, it's like two weeks off and I get some chocolate and shit. And then if you're like me, you know, you have your friends, but you're not that close to them. It's basically two weeks of sitting around posting shitty Facebook updates because you have nothing else to do or fill your time with. So what can you do when you're bored? I mean, in my case, I like to write stories about stuff and text my girlfriend and watch YouTube videos. Aside from that, I don't really do fuck all. You know what I wish I had? Well, I really wish I had. I mean, I know this is going to sound like a broken record because anyone who knows me has probably already been told this, but I'd love a group of close friends. I mean, I have close friends, but I don't really meet them that regularly. And I, and I kind of don't like that. I mean, I used to love being on my own, you know, just me and myself and my thoughts and all that. And then I realised I kind of hated myself. Well I, well, I always hated myself, to be honest, but... I don't just mean it in a low self-esteem kind of way. I mean the voice that's going away in my head right now, just blah, 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 blah. I hate it. I hate that fucking voice. I hate all the shit he has to say to me. In all honesty, I just find him fucking irritating. So I like to fill my time with people. I mean, you know, when you're at college, you don't need to fill it up with people because the people are around you because you're at college. So you don't have to set up dates or, or, you know, do you want to meet me next week? Let's do some texting. You don't need to because they're always there. But when you've got two weeks of holiday where it's just you and your head, it's just emptiness, just nothing. And since I only ha and since I don't really have a sort of close knit, tight group of close friends that I often see other people have, it makes my time quite boring because I can't just grab my phone and go, "Hey, bro, should we meet up in about an hour? Just let me take a shower." And they'll be like, "Yeah." I have to plan all my shit like months in advance. I mean, not quite that much, but. It kind of sucks. I wish I just had someone I could just call up and we'll meet and have a good time. I, you know, I wish I had that kind of friend, but... Going to uni in a few months, so maybe I'll meet that person then. I suppose. I suppose I don't help myself when I'm on my own, because... Well, I don't do anything with my time. I have nothing constructive. I mean, I like to write, like I said, and... Occasionally people might read what I write, like on this blog, for example, but... Honestly, I have such an empty life. It seems that the hole that was left by when my mum died just kind of grew and it went from being this mum-shaped hole to a hole where my life just had nothing. I've become... I suppose to say I'd become mature would be wrong because everyone knows I'm not mature, but I see life so differently now, so fragile, and I feel like... Everyone, like me and everyone, me here, everyone there, that hole that was left behind by my mum is there, and it separates me from everyone, because I can't just be one of them, I'm not them, we're two different species, they're still rolling around in their lives, talking about relationship problems is the worst thing that can happen, you know, oh, uh, that Tom, he doesn't like me, he thinks I smell, I should change my perfume, I mean... That's a problem, a, a genuine problem, I'm not denying that, but when your mum dies, it's hard to really get into those problems, because, honestly, who gives a fuck? I, you know? I mean, it, it sounds wrong, because it sounds like I'm saying I don't give a fuck about you, whoever you, you who's watching this is. It's not true that I don't give a fuck about you. It's just that 
I'm a nice guy. I mean, everyone will tell you I'm not a nice guy, and that's fine. But I am a pretty nice guy. But what happens to nice guys is like me, we get walked all over. That's just kind of what happens. And, all, and it sucks, and it happens, and I don't do anything about it, because I'm a lazy fuck, and I don't really give a shit. What I'm trying to say is, I care about you. But honestly, when you're putting forward your problems to me about how your boyfriend's dick's too big or something, why am I supposed to care about that? Yeah, my mum died, but 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 screw that. That doesn't matter because your your boyfriend's dick's too big, you know. So mum problems push that aside. That's not important right now. But you've got to sort out that problem with your boyfriend's dick. Well, there you go. You've seen me in the flesh, ranting about absolutely nothing and certainly nothing to do with what this blog's about think about it